We're here with uh, Shane Jones, Valhalla Access Control. They have a uh, single door access control solution um, that can be uh, uh, turned into multiple doors with other units and then it's all tied in with the cloud. Absolutely, so it's infinitely expandable throughout your account. Okay. Uh, if you need 10 doors now and they want to add another 10, 20, 30 later, you just do it as needed on your account. Uh, no, no expansion boards or anything else, just one board per access point and uh, that'll take care of it. So it's a cloud-based access uh, control solution, correct? And how is it connected to the cloud locally? Is it through Wi-Fi? Or? It is through Wi-Fi. Uh, we will have an Ethernet capability later on, um, and we'll also be going to US, uh, OSDP. Right now it just does Wigan 26-bit. We will be going to the new OSDP standard in the in the future and also be adding Ethernet support. Could you explain a little bit that, uh, about that to me? I've seen it in magazines and didn't actually quite grasp it, but in overall, what's the pr principle of that uh, OSDP? OSDP stands for Open Supervised Device Protocol, and that is a new communication standard that uh, the federal government is mandating and everybody else is kind of going towards, and it is based on an RS-485 serial communication line. Right, and it's also supervised, whereas Weekend is unidirectional, uh, it just sends the information back and then all you have is relay coming back to the device. Uh, the RS-485 is bi-directional communication, so it, it supervises itself and also you get an actual uh, data coming back saying yes, this is verified rather than just a relay connection. Okay, so the supervised part it comes in handy in, in what scenario to, to see that uh, the, the device is still there or part of authentication or? Yeah, it, it helps if, uh, if somebody comes in to cut your lines, if it's, if it's been vandalized or uh, broken into or if your card reader just goes bad, it will actually be alerted that you know something has happened to this access point and you can set that up to, to tell the customer or the installing dealer that something is wrong with this particular access point. So that makes sense for high security locations, but even then like multifamily residential or a commercial situation, you might be able to tell the customer that there's a problem before they even know that there's a problem in that scenario. Okay, so uh, I see you got the door and stuff set up. Let's talk about the software. So what what, what do I expect in just the cloud-based software? So am I just going to my web browser and logging onto this or do I have to go to your website, download a bunch of software and all that stuff? Nope, you just go to the web address. You're gonna set up your own account uh, with each of your properties. You can also set up your properties with managers having their own accounts so that you can have uh, multiple properties, multiple doors under each property, uh, managers under that, and then you set up your security levels uh, just like several other companies have um, so that you can allow access to certain doors at certain times of day and restrict access at other ones. So we might want the UPS guy not to be able to access the pool. Or if a property only takes deliveries during certain hours, you can keep your UPS guy from getting there at 6 a.m. and waking up your, your residents. So I'm connected through Wi-Fi with Ethernet coming. Is the Ethernet gonna be uh, uh, PoE so I can power the device over yes. the Ethernet? Okay, that's, so that's really cool. So I can literally just run one cable, one drop, cat5 and it'll power it and uh it'll communicate with it and then all i have to do is connect the whatever device i'm opening through the relay okay so uh it seems like this is a nice small little compact i see that you you had a didn't you have a single gang box before and now it's gone up to the double gang or was it always double gang uh box? no it was always this size okay, it's uh, the same board and everything we've we've been using for a couple of years now um just different firmware on it to allow okay. us to do this. And yeah, it's uh, one board in enclosure per access point. Everything is stored locally on the board. So we have an SD card that encrypts your credentials and everything. So if you do lose Wi-Fi, uh, everything will still work. That's a big important part. So, so what are my what are my limitations? Uh, it's not like just a couple hundred users or anything like that. Am I limited uh, in that manner of users, cards, codes? Yeah, you're looking at ten thousand users and credentials. Gotcha. And uh, what am I limited as far as the number of doors? How many doors will the uh, the uh, cloud handle? Unlimited number of doors. There is a cloud fee uh, for the first five doors. It is twenty dollars per month per door. Um, above that, once you get above five doors, everything drops down to $15 per month per door. 
So anything else we need to know about the software, basically everything that we would expect. Um, we can have security levels, we could have schedules, and then when, once we bring a new door online, how does that process go? So let's say that we in this particular ac application, we've got one access control door, and then we wanna add one to the pool. How does that process work? I buy a new panel, and then how do I set it up with the uh, system? Get a new panel, it has all the information to identify that particular door in that particular unit, and then you just come in here to add door. You're gonna name your door, whether it's for the pool or another access point. Uh, you're gonna put in a unique identifier, which is the device number. You're gonna put that in there so that the, the cloud can talk to that particular device, and you can go in and, and assign it to whatever property you want. So we also offer, or not offer, but it also does over the air updates. So as we do firmware updates, I had a guy ask me about the device OS target. That'll come with the device as well. Uh, but for installing dealers, it's really ir irrelevant. It's just going to let us know what devices need to be updated and which ones already have the newest firmware. So what are we looking at ins and outs? Can I monitor the position of the door? Can, uh, can I have a request to exit input? Yep, it has a, a door position sensor input. It has a request to exit input. It has a fire alarm input. Um, we do recommend using like an Altronics power supply that has a fire department input for fire regulations and fire code, but it also has a separate input uh, for like a Knox lock or something that you can do. The boards are populated and built in Missouri. Everything else is programmed and designed and everything in Pensacola, Florida. And you're at booth 1943, and if anybody wants to find more information about the Valhalla Access Control, do they go to what website? Uh, www.rotarygatesystems.com and just click on the Valhalla Access link. Oh, so that'll have also all your automatic gates on there as well too, right? Absolutely. Uh, automatic gate and uh, gate hardware. Appreciate it, Shane. We'll uh, see you at the next, Finstech.